Hello guys and welcome to the first episode of Vlogtober 2022. It is officially spooky season and we're gonna start this vlog off with talking about some spooky books. Thank you so much to Book of the Month for sponsoring today's video. If you aren't familiar with Book of the Month, they are a popular and fast-growing online book service for readers. Their mission is to promote new and emerging authors and to help readers discover new books that they love. My favorite thing about Book of the Month is that their team vets hundreds of books each month and gives readers their choice from a curated selection of new and early release titles. So you can spend more time reading and less time researching. Book of the Month is also risk-free, so if none of these selections that month are your cup of tea, then you can skip that month and you won't be charged. They also have the best price for new release hardcover fiction. You can get your first book for just $9.99 with the code TREAT. One other thing I wanted to mention is that Book of the Month is coming to Canada. Okay, so for my spooky reads, uh, the first book I have chosen is a thriller. This is The Family Game by Katherine Stedman. This is about a rich eccentric family, a time-honored tradition, and a lethal game of survival. My other selection this month is Thistlefoot, and this just sounds so creative. This is about about a prophecy foretold, a girl who can turn inanimate objects to life, and a house on chicken legs. Thank you again to Book of the Month for sponsoring today's video, and now let's get into the vlog. <laughs> currently on Pinterest and I am looking for a couple of images for my October bullet journal spread and I kind of just want to do a little bit of a reset today um, and I have finally found a system that works really well for me for my bullet journal and it's definitely more of a minimalistic approach because I feel like that's the easiest route to go with and that way it's not overwhelming and that way it's just fun. So I think that's the great thing about bullet journaling is that there's no right or wrong way to do it. It's just purely whatever works for you. I like to do habit trackers and I like to write down some goals and then I just like to find a couple of cohesive images for the spread. So update, I got a little sidetracked and I started looking at some hair color because <laughs> um, I went darker for fall and I love it, but I think that I feel most myself when I have really blonde hair and so I'm gonna keep this for the rest of October but I think in November I'm gonna switch it back to really blonde because <laughs> I don't know I just don't feel like myself it's kind of like that TikTok sound where it's like I'm getting my personality back that's how I feel <laughs> so yeah just looking at some hair inspo and then I also found some light fixture inspo. Um, so I've been seeing a couple of people do um, some hanging lights on the sides of their bed instead of doing like lamps on their side tables. And I really like that because right now our um, lamps are like a cream off-white color. That's what it looks like right now and I feel like it's just a lot of white on white on white. <laughs> like we have a white bedspread and then the walls are like a very soft gray and then with the lamps being like an off-white I just feel like it's too, I don't know, I just feel like it needs a little bit of warmth and and um, texture so i found this and i really really like that so i think i'm gonna get that um maybe for christmas but yeah i just feel like that would add an element of coziness to the room especially for the colder months <laughs>
Yeah. And I think they only have one left. I think they were really popular. So let me grab it real quick. Oh yeah, it's still here. Okay. Yeah, they got tons of different mugs, but I just thought it was so cute. Fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is really cute. Okay, honey. Well, I'm gonna go through here and pay for this stuff. I'll be up at your house in a few minutes as soon as I'm done paying, okay? I just got off the phone with my mom, and she said she got us four pumpkins, one for each of our cats. Um, she said she got a big cream colored one for Hugo, and then a smaller white one for Ellie, and then two smallest ones with peculiar stems for Luna and Poppy. It's gonna be so cute. Okay, so I wanted to share my October bullet journal spread. So I have my calendar page, I have my habit trackers page, my TBR page, and my goals page. For my TBR, I went to read six books. Last month I read 12 books and that was my biggest reading month ever. I don't know if I could do it again. I mean, I think I could, but it was definitely a challenge. I think six books will be a good amount. Um, so that's one of my goals for this month. And then I also want to read my Bible daily and to finish studying the book of Psalms um, I want to ride my bike every morning. That is my favorite way to start the day um, I want to upload twice a week for vlogtober and to go along with that I want to do digital detox Sundays um, I used to be really good about doing digital detoxes, but I haven't done one in a really long time I think it will create a nice balance between being online and being offline and then my last goal is to wake up at 8 a.m. which is actually something I've been doing <laughs> I know in my last reset video I said that I was sleeping in when I sleep in I am NOT productive at all so <laughs> I have finally been following through with my morning routine and it's been great so I definitely want to keep that up and the last thing I want to do for this reset is I want to do a little bit of cleaning so I'm gonna listen to my favorite podcast the unsolicited advice podcast they have an October series and it's so good if you like scary stories I definitely recommend uh, speaking of scary stories before I forget I am going to be reading your spooky ghost stories like I did last year so if you have a spooky story please send it to my email, abigailscupoftea at gmail.com and please put spooky story as the title so I know what it is. Um, I am so excited to do this again. Um, last year was so much fun. We love spooky season around here. We love it. So excited. You guys already know that we live for uh, this series and this is our third annual, fourth annual?